beer. Edit baggage claim. See you soon. What's up, YouTube? We're gonna do a little recap of the 2018 USA National Yo-Yo Contest. I just got back from Chicago on Sunday. Well, I guess it was technically very, very early Monday morning. And I had a blast. So Chicago was amazing. And I wanted to do an overall recap of my trip. And then we're going to go into the results and how I felt about them. And I'll insert clips and stuff that I took. If you followed me on Instagram, you got to see the pictures that I took. Uh, first of all, let's get into it. I uh, flew out on Friday, early, early morning. Uh, caught a plane at 7.45 a.m. Pittsburgh time uh, and landed at like 8.05 Chicago time. Uh, it was very uneventful. Got right off the plane, grabbed my bag, which was coming right out of the uh, luggage, baggage claim area. Grabbed that. Asked the guy, hey, I need to get on the orange train. He was like, oh, it's just through that door. So I literally walked through the door across the parking lot and to a station where I rode the train to my hotel. Uh, I had kind of put a lot of time in to like get lost and be lost in the airport, but I, I needed zero seconds of that because the tr time that it took me to get off the plane and to my hotel was less than an hour. And that included like a half hour train ride. So it really took no time at all. So I got to downtown Chicago very, very, very early. So I dropped my bag off, the heavy bag, my bag that had all my clothes in it. And I stuck my laptop in there and stuff. Dropped that off at the hotel because I couldn't check in yet. Asked them for an early check-in. They said, okay, it's going to be a few hours because it was like 8.45 or so, 9 o'clock at that time. They were like, maybe noon, maybe like 2, but we'll get you in as soon as we can. And I said, all right, that's fantastic. You guys are great. Cambria, Cambria Suites is great, by the way. If you ever go anywhere, hang out with them. Had some breakfast, wandered around, was looking for people. Uh, got uh, in touch with Joey Serrano and uh, Jeremy, Mr. Yo-Yo Thrower. So uh, Jeremy and I met up. Uh, finally met Jeremy, Mr. Yo-Yo Thrower. He is the nicest dude. Just as nice and as cool as you would imagine. He is even nicer in person. Great guy. Wandered over to the Palmer House, which is where the events of Friday night were held. And uh, ran into some awesome people who you've seen on uh, Instagram. But uh, saw Ian, saw uh, Tiki, saw um, Michael Fertico. We just hung out uh, at the Starbucks for a little while, had some coffee, and uh, it was a good time. Uh, and then Joey Serrano showed up with a bunch of people from uh, New York and all over the place, basically. Uh, everybody, sh a bunch of people showed up. We all, they all met us there. And uh, it was about lunchtime at this point and everybody was super hungry. So we all set off to find lunch. They all wanted to get falafels. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna go find a pub. So I found a pub. And uh, you saw the picture. I had some pot pie and a beer. It was delicious. It was wonderful. Uh, and then after that, finally, my hotel was ready. So go back over to the hotel. By the way, it was 100 degrees in Chicago. 100 degrees, 100% humidity. It was miserable outside. It was keep your babies and old people and dogs inside because you'll all roast and die. So I sort of roasted. Go back to the hotel. I am drenched. So I took a shower. Uh, it was about 2 o'clock at this point. Took a shower, changed clothes, and just kind of like hung out in the cold. Made my hotel room very cold and just kind of hung out for a little while. And then... The man, the myth, the legend himself, Dylan Kowalski, texts me, Hey, I'm on the train. I'll be in town in ten minutes. Where can I meet you? Googled where he was coming off. And uh, it was in line to my hotel and to where we needed to be for that evening. I said, meet me at my hotel. I'll meet you outside. We'll go have a beer. And uh, so I met Dylan around 3.30 or so. Went, had a couple beers with Dylan. He uh, he, he hooked me up with the, uh, the cool... Rogue dead guy, yeah, yeah, that's over my shoulder there. It's very cool. And uh, had a couple beers, just chalk, talked, hung out for a little while. Dylan is exactly as cool as he seems in his videos. Same dude. It's like you know him forever. Now Dylan and I have talked back and forth a lot 
Uh, he and I have been like internet friends for a long time, so uh, it was just cool to hang out with Dylan. Contest portion that was going to happen for that evening on Friday night. Uh, there were vendor tables set up, uh, both Yo-Yo Expert and the Boutique Yo-Yo Collective uh, had tables set up in this hotel that looked like Haunted Mansion uh, with Palmer House. Palmer House is great. Beautiful hotel. Beautiful. Uh, looks, but all the chandeliers and stuff and everything coming, it looks like the Haunted Mansion. And it looks like, it's an old building, so it looks like it could be haunted. It might be haunted. I'm not sure. Dylan and I hung out there, met loads of cool people. Uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Chris Chun uses a motor powered yo yo. It can be like barely speaking all you grab it. It's so good. It's all Dylan's fault. <laughs> CJ's here. I'm here. Uh oh. Off road yo yo. Like Will Prater from the One Drop team. Uh, I mean, just met so many cool people that I hadn't met. Mark Montgomery. I met Mark Montgomery. That was cool. I told Mark when I met him I was going to jump up and down and be excited to meet him, and I did, and it was great. But uh, met all kind of really cool people there uh, that I, I had talked to before or maybe had known of, uh, but it was like kind of a meet and greet sort of deal. So uh, met a lot of people for the first time and just had a really, really good evening. Uh, actually ended up hanging out for the rest of the evening with uh, Dylan Kowalski and uh, CJ came down too. Uh, so that was awesome. CJ met us there. And then, so we all hung out there for a little while just talking to people, meeting people. It was a good time. Uh, wild card round was going on, uh, getting some people, you know, seated for prelims, which was fantastic. And uh, so that was all fun. And there was yo-yos to buy and yo-yos to try and just a lot of just good stuff going on. Met Sammy Ickler. That was cool. Uh, and... So then Dylan, CJ, and I were getting, like, super hungry. Uh, so we went to uh, get a burger, and we ended up at, like, German place. It was really good. Uh, ate, some, ate some food, drank some beer. And uh, by that time, it was late, and uh, I was sweating my brains out. I was soaked again, and uh, I was really tired because I'd been up early. So we went back to my hotel. And uh, we all just hung out because it was cool in there and just kind of like chilled. And it was just like, it was good. We just hung out and talked. Jeremy McKay was there. Uh, so Jeremy had just gotten back as well after we ate dinner. And uh, we just all kind of hung out and, and just chatted and had a good time. Uh, Saturday was a full day of stuff. Went and watched all of the prelims. Uh, met up with Brett Cosma and uh, Katie, his wife, and, and their niece. Brett's here. We found him. Katie's here. You guys are on the throws, Bruce. And hung out, hung out with them, sat with them for all the, for pretty much the whole contest, but uh, sat with them for that day uh, during the contest. Uh, hung out with Dylan a good bit that day. Also got the uh, amazing opportunity to hang out with uh, Mr. Off-Road Yo-Yo himself. That's right, Kyle from Off-Road Yo-Yo was there. And uh, it, was, it was great, great to hang out with him. And uh, we had a couple beers, uh, talked to just about everybody, hung out with uh, Andrew Bergen a little bit, had a couple beers with him, and uh, it was just good, man. It was a good prelims. Uh, prelims seemed to go very well. Uh, Look, to me, like the right guys got sent to finals from that, fr from there, and uh, just that was Saturday was a super super fun day. Brian got yeah, yes. All the people. So many yo-yo people. Yo-yo expert. There's Andre Boulay himself. He's back anyway. We'll do more of that. What's up, YouTube? Whoa, Dylan! <laughs> ate lunch, or ate breakfast that day with the crew from Two Sick Yo-Yos. So Joey Serrano and Will and everybody. So ate, ate lunch with the Two Sick Yo-Yos crew. And uh, that was great. Uh, love those guys, love hanging out with those guys. Uh, Joey and I have been, I like Joey a lot. He and I, from opposite sides of Pennsylvania, but uh, its he's always a good guy to hang out with. So, had a couple beers with some people throughout the contest because they had beer at the contest, which was awesome. Good job. Way to uh, organize that because it uh, made me very happy. Um, and you know, you, you meet all the legends while you're there, all the top dudes. Oh yes, yo, crew. What's up? 
Possibly coolest new yo-yos at the contest. Yeah, man. Here's the, the designer. I don't know if any of the sound's gonna come through, but we'll see. Monkey finger. <laughs> Dinner that day, uh, some, some hot dogs and then wandered over to the after party where at the after party was it like this sort of boutique artsy toy store hung out there um, again sort of a list of meet and greet met a bunch of people hung out with a bunch of people hung out with some of the oh yes yo crew uh hung out with some of the corco guys and uh, also got the chance to meet the freshly dirty guys they're both named alex if you didn't know that uh alex and alex are all very they're very cool guys and uh, they were they were awesome uh, to hang out with. Didn't get to shoot any video with those guys, although I did want to talk to Alex. So hopefully we can set up something so that we can have a little a little interviewee discussion thing. That was everything was going on, and there was just so much fun and hanging out to do that I didn't want to pull anybody away and like just stop to like do an interview or something. Then uh, went with the Smashing Yo-Yos crew, so Jordan and Roland and Abby with with. Uh, uh, Compton, Chris Compton from uh, Motor City Yo-Yos, and we went and to look for more food. Uh, got a huge beer. Oh, and uh, Kyle from Off Road Yo-Yo was with us too. Uh, I got a huge beer. Poor Kyle had this little. It was it was like I had this monster, this man, and he just had this little tiny beer. It was funny. It was So let's talk about the finals results. Hung out with Brett and Katie most of the day and uh, watched finals, although I did eat pizza with Dylan. You saw that, Dylan and uh, Chris Compton. Results. Lucky Lee won. Uh, Lucky Lee was amazing. Dude's got so many tricks. It's insanity. Um, for the women, uh, Betty Galagos won. Betty was amazing. Betty's really good. Uh, but Talia and Kira and Abby all also participated. And that was great, too. Uh, it was great to meet Abby Rhodesky. Abby, Abby and I have talked back and forth a lot. And I've been on her channel. She's been on my channel. Abby's cool. Uh, so if you don't follow Abby, you need to do that. Uh, a Brodsky on on uh, YouTube, you need to follow Abby. But uh, Betty won, Betty's freestyle was amazing. Uh, Betty really is really good. As far as like the women's competitors go, it's like Betty and, Tessa wasn't there, but it's Betty and like Tessa, and then like kind of everybody there like, but Betty was great. It, Betty, watching Betty's like, wow, Betty's really good. Uh, for the 2A, uh, Connor Schulten really just blew everybody. I mean, he was like, he is, he is really good. So he's, I think, this two or three years in a row for him. Uh, he, I think his score was almost twice what everybody else's was. He was really good. It was really, really good. Um, and But everybody else did really good, too. Rob Kitts came back out of retirement, so that was good to see Rob. Uh, and Dennis Shatter is always good to see. Uh, I managed to run into Dennis all the time, and he was actually a judge. Uh, 3A, Alex Hattori wins again. Uh, it really it really wasn't close. Alex is just, Alex is really good. Colin Beckford got second. Colin's great at 3A. He hasn't really done much 3A for the last couple of years. He's just getting back to 3A. So Colin did really, really well and got second. Um, but uh, yeah, Alex Tori is just, dude is so clean. Such a, such a different level. Like 3A I feel like is still so like, so different to me. But like to watch Alex versus, and Alex is so good. I guess really the only person that was even close to his level was Colin. And you know how good Colin Beckford is, Jesus. And then 4A, uh, Ryan Connolly 
did awesome. Ryan Connolly really wowed everybody. We, uh, it was great. Both he and Philip White were really good. I think they were only four points apart uh, at the end. But uh, Philip White won last year, uh, and then Ryan Connolly this year. Ryan Connolly was great. Super, super guy. Chris Chun. Got I like Chris Chun. Love Chris Chun. Got third place. Was also very close. It was a very tight race for it. For it was really good this year. So uh, Chris Chun, man, like you could tell, like he just nailed his routine, and he was so stoked about it. He was like, you just could feel the intensity. And man, we gave it back to him. And uh, got a shout out, Chris Chun. He came in third, but uh, you know what, Chris, you're number one in my heart, buddy. Five A, John Wolf. Bringing it back to Pittsburgh yet again. Gotta love John. Uh, John did great. He had to go a little early, so he didn't actually get to hoist his trophy, but John won. So congrats to my buddy John Wolf. I will see you soon, brother, and uh, we will we will celebrate properly for your national title win. Congratulations. Don John Wolf, two-time US 5A champion. Two-time. Dude's awesome. Love John Wolf. And what everybody wants to talk about, let's talk about 1A finals. 1A Finals. So, um, it goes without saying that uh, Evan Gal blew everybody out of the water. Holy crap. He got, I don't know if you guys are wrestling fans, but if you are, he got that Road Warriors pop. Like, he did it to, he did, his routine was set to Freebird, which was amazing. Great song choice. Everybody else kind of does hip hop and stuff. So, for somebody to come out and do Freebird, it's immediately different. Because nobody, that's, it's, not even close to being in the realm of what anybody else is doing. So that sets you apart, which is amazing. Also, he comes out in a Hawaiian shirt where everybody else is in sort of like black clothes. And, I mean, he just, he blew the roof off the place. They, if you saw the freestyle, it was twice as exciting in person. He blew the roof off the place. He won by five points. I'm looking at the results score sheets right now. He won by five points. Uh, there's no dispute in that. I don't think anybody that was in that building would say, no, no, Evan wouldn't, wouldn't agree that Evan won that by like five points. Uh, Evan was, he was, he was masterful. He was excellent. Uh, he defended his title like, like a true fighting champion. And man, was it great. But let's talk about the rest of the guys. So Gentry got number two. Uh, Gentry was really nice. I met Gentry, walked up to him, shook his hand. Nice guy. Uh, I don't think he knows who I am. He doesn't watch. That's okay, though. I, I understand Gentry. He's not watching now either, but he doesn't watch my channel. That's all right. I understand. Uh, and then Nate Daly, man, Nate was good. When Nate went, I was like, oh man, Nate, Nate might have this. Like this might be, this might be the year of Nate the Great until Evan then blew the roof off the house. Um, Kieran was great. Kieran was sort of also an unsung hero. I was like, oh man, I don't know, Kieran or Nate, Kieran or Nate gonna win this. That that was sort of the like back and forth where it was like it was in our heads like what's gonna happen. Uh, Chandler was great too. Ch Chano, Chandler Steele. Man, dude was awesome. He did the thing where he bounced the yo-yo off his knee and caught it like while he was doing his horizontal combo. Man, that is cool. Uh, that got a big pop too from the crowd. So Chandler got a Chandler got a lot of like a lot of cheers. Chandler had the crowd crowd going as well. So he definitely he he was number five. But uh, you know what? It, a, 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 those top five guys really it could have just about been any one of them. Ethan Chung was pretty good. I enjoyed his. Connor Seals really blew me away twice. Uh, he, especially with his prelim, his prelim really blew me away. Like, I thought his prelim was really good. He was probably my favorite prelim. Uh, just did really, really well. Uh, Colin did great as always. Patrick Canny, uh, what a nice dude. Uh, got to meet Patrick Canny and I really enjoyed both his preliminary and Patrick Canny's, uh, and his, his finals routine. They were both great. Uh, he did great both times and he's just, he's fun to watch. Uh, he's got a lot of dynamic footwork, and uh, he was great. Uh, Michael Fertico, God, Bird did. Bird actually, his prelim was he was number one in prelims. Uh, he did awesome. Uh, his his finals routine was great too. Uh, he, those those guys round out the top ten. Uh, and then Andrew Bergen, who, who's my honorable mention, he's my buddy. Uh, he did great too. Bergie's really good. It just to watch Berg, Bergie is masterful uh, with the uh, and to watch him and to talk to him is excellent. So. Uh, but honestly, congrats to everybody uh, who made it to finals. So, you know, who else was there? Tyler McCallumore was great. Uh, Adrian Velez was great. Blaze Becker was great. Congrats to Blaze for making it to finals this year. I think he's like, he's not very, he's like 16 or something. Uh, Blaze did great. Uh, Shane Lubecker was great. And so was uh, Andrew Mater just uh, kind of had a, kind of had some mishaps. But, uh, 
Andrew kind of came. He, I don't think he'd competed all year, and uh, he basically went from uh, from the wild card and just worked his way up into finals. So, uh, you know, congrats to Mater for just climbing the ladder. Uh, unfortunately, that was just not his day for finals, but it happens. But it was a blast. It was a long, long finals day. Uh, it went from about noon to about 6 p.m. pretty much nonstop with like two or three minute breaks in between for all the finals to go through. And uh, everybody was just great. Uh, all of the 1A competitors really brought their A game. Uh, there were, like I said, three or four guys who I was sure were like, oh man, this is it. Nobody's going to beat that. And then the next guy would be like, nope, I was wrong. Totally wrong. Uh, but no, Evan just, Evan blew the roof off the house and uh, a very, very, very deserved win um, from somebody whose eyes were in the building. Uh, Evan won and uh, he won by five points and, well, almost five points. And uh, it showed. It totally deserved it. He was clean. He was dynamic. Uh, he had the crowd going. He even had a good guitar face. He shredded the yo-yo while he was, while the, during the Freebird solo. It was great. It was phenomenal. I, I couldn't have loved it more than I did. Favorite freestyle to date, period. Glad I was in the building for it. It was awesome. But uh, what was your favorite freestyle? Tell me down in the comments below. Were you there? Did, did I meet you? Talk to me. Talk to me about it. Uh, this is my recap of the 2018 USA National Yo-Yo Championship. It was a good time. It was in Chicago. Chicago's a beautiful city. You're beautiful people. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not drinking anything, but cheers to you. Happy 4th of July. I'll see you next time.